Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor, where we're poor today, but investing for tomorrow's future. And today I bring to you a Chia update, new version 1.81. And what is it going to do for us? Absolutely nothing right now in regards to GPU farming, because it's still not part of it. But let's just check it out really quick. What's going on with it? But before we continue, as always, price of Chia XCH 36.45. Um, apparently the hype of the, all this IPO and Chia releasing these NFT games has not kept up with the momentum of the price going any higher. People are, I guess, not that interested. So, uh, in the seven days, it has trickled down a lot more than where it was about a week ago, which was up in the 37 or down another dollar. So in the month, you can see this trend has been coming down significantly. And uh, it, there's been waves, and every time there was a wave, there was probably either someone really hyping it up, right? Or there was some announcement about IPO or some other feature, but apparently this new one, this 1.81, hasn't done much. Now, this morning, I actually was, you know, waking up and jumping in the shower. I noticed that Chia uh, Network released a video on YouTube. And it wasn't an AMA. Uh, actually, was it an AMA? Now I have to look back again. Let me just look really quick as uh, I was searching for that. Um, it was a feed. It was something very specific to the chips. There you go. Uh, it was eight hours ago. And right here, I was formed I watched a few minutes Google. of it. And it wasn't anything of significance to an end user. So if you're a developer and all that other good stuff, then obviously it probably relates to you. NFT off-chain metadata. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I it, it was way beyond what I can comprehend. But anyway, so that's the price. And the net space has gone up a little bit. A little bit. All right. 24.1 EIBs in the last seven days has increased 434. Pair count, 114. So it's pretty static. And you can see right here as my head is blocking... Most of the people on version uh, 1.80 has not adapted 1.81 yet. I haven't done it myself. I'm still on 1.80. Uh, but we'll we'll go over what you know 1.81 is. And I'll also go over a couple other things in regards to the price. But let's do this. Let's move myself. Uh, let's move myself back over to this corner here. Let's see. Chia right here is rank 128. Great number. One two eight, and you know it's it's still green for the most part for today at least. Thirty six fifty one over here on crypto bubble. All right, let's go into the release notes of one point eight one. Now, me as a general end user experience improvement, loading the NFT gallery may result in GUI turning into a white screen. I have experience where my NFT images were missing. Or, you know, like just the, the missing image and I and I it couldn't load. I've never experienced the white screen. So that didn't happen to me. But you know, honestly, I don't have that many NFTs or whoever donated. I appreciate it. But besides that, I'm not very active with the uh, NFT stuff on the GUI. Uh, GUI may display that there's a that has mismatch with the NFT content. Again, that's more NFT. And here we go. When creating an offer, NFT search by NFT name is not available. Again, that didn't affect me much. <laughs> signing messages with an NFT can't find the NFT by search. My goodness. This is like majority of all this NFT stuff. But well, let's see right here. When using Wallet Connect to connect to the dApp, the name of the dApp shows up as an unknown application after successfully connecting it to the dApp. Well, that would suck. Update pending is not showing when you move an NFT to a different profile. Ugh. All right. It's all mostly NFT fixes. And of course, there are other fixes and changes to things beyond the end user experience, which is whether you're a developer, a testnet change, let's see, GUI changes, key based links and menu items have been replaced with Discord links. Cool. All right. All right. So GUI changes is that that could relate to us, right? Is that, I, well, I haven't updated yet, so I can't even tell. NFT loading performing fix for incorrect images and sluggish UI. Ah, uh, Chia, sluggish? No way. That was a joke, guys. It was a joke. Fix a bug that prevent users from joining a pool. Oh, my goodness. Really? Prevented users from... Oh, I've never heard of this one. Maybe that was just me. I mean, I, I've always been part of a pool. And you guys wondering which pool I am a part of is GG Pool. And I've been with them 
ever since they came out with the pool. And I had them on this channel too. It had to be at least over a year or so now. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, fixed a DID creation failure caused by improper comparison between string and number. No idea what that even means. Removed a hard-coded NFT page size limit. Okay. Allow wallet connect pairing that includes unsupported commands. Again, a lot of these things way in over my head. Don't have no any idea what the hell it even is because I never experienced it for myself. But let's go over to Twitter really quick. And I know you guys uh, love Twitter. This Chia Friend Club. Not sure who runs this or who's a part of this, but I, I see a couple of names here that I'm familiar with. And why would you buy XCH at a price of $16.90 if you knew that when the price drops by 10 to 20 times, then the founder, Bram Cohen, would begin to say that he does not care about the Chia price. Chia Network White Paper says that the company will not let the price fall much. So... I don't think the, the Chia Network company can l not let the price fall much because like they said in the past is that they don't predict the price. They don't they don't they don't control the price of XCH. The the market determines that. The end users, the farmers determine that. And I so the this statement on the hair, this bottom statement, I, I don't I don't understand what that actually means. But there's a lot of hopefuls here. And, you know, you can tell by the little green leaves that these people are really holding on. Hold and don't cry. Chia is more than just a price of coin. Coin price will follow next big Chia announcement and people adoption. Apparently, there's a, a lot of announcements that have been happening on Chia that hasn't affected the price much. And even if it did, it went right back down to lower lows, possibly. Has it been lower lows? I'm not sure. 36. What has been the lowest low? Oh, no, no. Lowest low would be like $30, $29, $28 uh, back in December. That's pretty low. And also back in uh, June 12th, 2022, $27.99. Interesting, right? Uh, new lows here at $35 at $39, March 9th. So we're at the same price range as March 9th a couple of months back. So let's go back here. Hype. Hype of start low XCH, buy some. BB, uh, I don't know that, what that even meant. BBT? What's BBT? Open a new tab. Let's see what's BBT. I have no idea what BBT is. Big brain to... What? On Chia Network. Wow. Interesting. I have to look into that, guys. Keep the price low. I want to buy more. This guy is very optimistic. Every Actually, everyone here is very optimistic about the price. And the growth of Chia Network and the coin, XCH, uh, and the direction that it's going to go. But right now, with this latest version, we're 8 minutes in. 1.81 still does not have GPU, farming, plotting, all that good stuff. Is, is the time too late? As it passed that time, the hype is all gone. Mad Max took all the credit for the great concept and building out his GPU farming and mining. Or GPU farming and plotting and has already adapted that <clears throat> to his full potential now uh i have been talking to him on discord i'm gonna see if i if he has some time to come on the channel again to kind of you know just refresh our minds with what's going on in, in his world with the whole chia stuff and this whole gpu world that he's uh, been adapting to right now so i want to thank you guys for being here and staying tuned uh, tune in for more content like this and also additional content. I want to talk about things like if you stay this far, you know, I was almost ready to quit my job. How crazy is that? All right. So please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.